Stay here and not move. This is Severe MMA at Bama 23, Night of Champions, and we're alongside Nad Naramani after his impressive stoppage of Jeremy Petley. Nad, it's been a long time since we've seen you in the cage for one reason or another, so how, you know, how good was it to, to get in there and, and put in a performance against a really credible opponent? It's fantastic, you know. Uh this game's hard, and uh, when you've got all the build-up and everything to it, these these two this week really losing weight and going through all the stresses of sorting things out, and, and then this makes it all worth it when you feel like this after, you know, and, uh, and get a win. So definitely, I mean, it feels great. Talk us through the end of the fight. It looked like you kind of had what well, you did. You had, you had the back control, but then he kind of turned straight into a. Is, is that something you train? No, just that's the way it goes, and you train all day, you train for different circumstances, and. Uh, it just happened, you know, he, he, I dropped him, he turned around, I caught him with a few shots, he turned back in, caught him with a few more, then he stood up, then I catch him with a couple of elbows. I could hear him, he was going, oh, oh, when I was hitting him, I knew he was done, you know, it was just a matter of time. Um, just didn't want to give him a chance to recover, so just stayed on him, really. You yeah. know, Pedley is it's, uh, he's a tough, tough competitor, and, uh, you know, for, again, it's been a little while since you were, you were in the cage. Did you have a game plan for him, or was that it? Did we see a game uh, I just, plan prepared Yeah, for I mean, I, was, I, I, I said to everyone, I said, I don't care what anyone's it, whoever's in there now I said I'm doing what I want to do I, I, I fought a couple of I fought Enland and fought about what he was mm. going to do too much and um, and, it, and it affected me you know so I just thought you know I'm going through and I've been training this this year I've just been training flat out I've done 46 weeks well I've took three weeks off because I, because I injured my rib uh, before my last fight and uh, other than that so 40 49 weeks of improving basically so when you do that and you know it's, you, you're going to get better and I know I have I know it's only 20 minutes since you just got out of the cage, but you know, are you itching to step back in again? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely. I want to get, I want to stay active. However, I've, uh, I've had a year off, and you know, when you had a year off, you sort of lose that sort of you know, little things like I don't know, just that feeling and stuff like that. So you, uh, yeah, it's better for me anyway. I know some people can stay, have a long layoff, and but I, I prefer to stay active. So. Then a 24, England versus yeah, Ireland. Definitely, I'm on that How for sure. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure uh, Jude would be happy to put me on that after that performance. So, yeah, whoever there, you know, definitely. definitely. Now, do you? Looking to make a run for the title? Is this now? Yeah, is this now work? Definitely. If this is, uh, if the title's there, I'll take it. You know, definitely. Nah, that was a really imp impressive I, uh, performance. Just want to say thank you. Just Please. thank you to all my sponsors. Um, I know you, you, you severely cut this off, don't they? No, no. Well, no, we, Graham, Graham, Ned will hit you, not I. Go <laughs> ahead, uh, oh, Bristol Waste Clearance, Jeff Way, Appeal Home Shading, uh, Scramble, Spike, my manager, Print Graphics, Print All My Stuff, um, Iron Man, Sweatbox, Pedro Besser, all of the guys. I just want to thank you all, you know. Um, and um, yeah, because I mean, this year wouldn't have been possible without my sponsors and stuff, and I haven't fought, yeah. so they've helped me through. And you wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't have been here now talking to you. So if I, if it wasn't for them, you know. I am going to ask one more. You know, they say that the featherweight title is now vacant, and yeah. I've heard rumors that there may be a title fight in April. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, Brendan Lawton. Yeah, definitely. Is you that know, something you'd like? Of course. You know, I'll fight anyone, and uh, I like to fight the best guys. So um, definitely. Yeah. If it's if it's available, then why not? Matt, it is always a pleasure watching uh, you thank work. Congratulations. You. Thank you. And just quickly, actually, sorry. Uh, also. Um, if ever that anyone's in Bristol, get to Fish Lovers and Soup Kitchen. It's my family's restaurants, family's businesses, and they help me a lot as well. And thank you to my wife, uh, Hannah, and also my dad, my mum, my sisters. You know, thank you for all the support and everyone. Thank you. Always a pleasure, Nat. Thank, thank you, you so much. Care. Well yeah, done. Cheers.